Do you have demons in your layer two domain? Do you have demons in your network? Well, stick around, find out, figure out where those canaries are to let you know if you got demons. Let's see what our topology is. We've got two We've got two cores here. Core 1 is the root of our layer 2 domain. Core 2 is our secondary. We have a distribution switch connected to Core 1 and Core 2. If we logged into Tor 1, our distribution switch, the root port would be E01. as we can see here and we can see E02 being the alternate our core here will be designated forwarding on all ports and core 2 will see E0 slash 0 as its root port so to guard against a rogue switch being elected as root to prevent man in the middle or suboptimal path let's examine core one so in core one we do that show spanning tree we can see that this is the root we see that the priority is set and that all ports are designated forwarding. Let's enact our demons within our network. This is a basic scapy script sending BPDUs trying to be elected as root. Let's execute this basic Python attack. And if we show spanning tree on our core we can see that this core is no longer the root bridge and our root interface is e1 slash 1 pointing to our demon or our attacker within our environment to prevent the election process occurring on a access layer switch what we can do we can go into our core our spanning tree root and we can desi designate interfaces to be the spanning tree root guard meaning that we will allow you to participate in spanning tree, but you will not try to elect your sp yourself as the root within our environment. To accomplish this, let's get into our root switch. Configuration mode. And I can say within our topology that E0 slash 0 e0 slash 1 will need to participate in spanning tree but these devices should not elect itself as root over the core so let's get into interface e0 slash 0 configuration and issue the spanning tree guard root command 
and we can see that the root guard has been enabled and let's configure interface one slash one we can see that root guard has been enabled and that root guard blocking has been enacted and to finish our topology we can configure E0 slash 1 with spanning tree root guard So now we have E0 slash 0 participating in the spanning tree guard root, E01 and 1 slash 1. That will allow these devices to continue to, to participate in spanning tree. But if one of these devices tries to elect themselves as to root, what we saw was that port being placed in a blocking state. So let's cancel this. As we can see here, It is in root inconsistency. The port is blocked as it is broken. Now, since we've stopped our demon from attacking, root guard has unblocked that port. So root guard is great when you need devices to participate in spanning tree, but if we need to specify that this interface will never participate in spanning tree, such as an access layer switch, we need BPT, BPDU guard. So let's get into our access layer switch and configure interface E slash, excuse me, E zero slash zero as spanning tree BPDU guard enable as we should never see any BPDUs coming in on interface 0 slash 0. We would see it on E0 slash 1, E0 slash 2. So with that enabled, that interface will never see BPDUs and if it does it will shut it down. As an example, we can go into our core and we can say interface E1 slash 1 is an access layer switch port and configure it with BPDU guard. int 1 slash 1 spanning tree bpdu guard enabled issue 
show spanning tree core one is the root bridge all interfaces are designated forwarding and so if we were to enact our daemon within our layer 2 domain we can immediately see that that interface has been air disabled if we were to issue show spanning tree it's no longer participating and issue our show interface e1 slash 1 and we can see that it is down and that is it is air disabled so you would need to administerly enable that interface from a canary perspective what you would want to look for is the BPDU guard air disabling that interface and from a canary perspective I would personally alert on that BPDU guard and the root guard block from a layer 2 detecting those demons perspective if you have any questions comments or, or concerns please put them in that comment field thank you hope you enjoyed